Evidence of the scientific and clinical benefits of intermittent therapy and rhythmic perfusion of tissue has greatly impacted the engineering of the Prospera NPWT systems. In addition to the blood flow increases, researchers have documented increases in granulation tissue formation with intermittent therapy that far exceed those seen with continuous negative pressure. Until now, limitations of existing systems and previous technology did not allow clinicians to put this latest knowledge to work. The state-of-the-art technology and engineering of the Pro Series features the most highly refined and customizable intermittent therapy options available, putting control in the hands of the clinicians and allowing MPWT to extend to its ultimate potential. We call the result variable pressure therapy. Prospera is designed for VPT. You can see here that our recommended pressure ranges are between minus 40 and minus 80 millimeters of mercury. What makes Prospera VPT special is that our pumps are designed to increase and decrease pressure in gentle five millimeter mercury increments, creating a rhythmic massage for the tissue. Based on the new research, including what we just reviewed, this has proven to be the most effective form of negative pressure therapy. With VPT, your patients will receive the maximum benefit of intermittent pressure as a very comfortable massaging rhythm. In older machines, pressures rapidly increase and decrease between zero and negative 125 millimeters of mercury. This creates kind of a sawtooth pattern. It can be very painful for the patients, causes displacement for the dressing, and makes intermittent therapy quite difficult. VPT makes intermittent therapy practical, simple, and comfortable. Assembling the Prospera pump is quite simple. You have the filter tubing. You have to make sure that the blue side goes to the pump and the white side goes to the canister. And it won't work the other way around. Place the gray canister ring on the side of the pump. And then you place the canister inside the gray ring. Make sure that the seal is tied at the top because if you're gonna have an open system alarm, this most frequently will be where it comes from, from a poor seal. Attach the filter tubing to the top of the canister lid and that completes the Prospera system. Turn the pump on and it'll automatically default to a continuous setting at 80 millimeters of mercury. If you choose a different pressure, toggle up and toggle down in increments of five. Press OK to confirm and OK to start your therapy. If you choose to use intermittent therapy, you must implement the lockout feature by pressing both the up and down indicator arrows at the same time. This step is also used to convert back to continuous. The first step in intermittent is to choose the high pressure. You can go up and down in increments of five until you select your pressure. Press OK. The lower pressure again, increments of five. Press OK. The high time, increments of 30 seconds, 0 0.5 is 30 seconds, up to 10 minutes. Select your timing. Press OK. The lower timing, the same thing, 0 0.5 to 10 minutes, and press OK. You will have a confirmation screen. Press OK to implement the mode. On the screen, the continuous just has a simple pressure setting. On the intermittent mode, the intermittent bar appears at the top of the screen to tell you where you are in the cycle. It's just that simple. We've just spent the last few minutes talking about the science of negative pressure. What we want to do now is talk about the art of the dressing change. Once you've irrigated your wound and cleaned it out with your cleanser of choice, your second step is to use a custom cut non-contact layer if you have exposed bone, cartilage, tendon, vessels, any structure of high risk that you want to give extra protection to. One of the reasons that we chose gauze at Prospera was because it's comfortable to patients, it doesn't allow for ingrowth because of its hydrophilic nature, and the AMD gauze that we selected has the antimicrobial control for 72 hours minimum. One of the nice things about the AMD gauze is that it does not keep us within that parameter of a two-hour limit if we would be disconnected from negative pressure. What we're currently used to is if the negative pressure is discontinued for two hours or more that the dressing change has to be redone. But that's not the case with the AMD gauze, which we think is a real advantage. 
When I was doing dressing changes on patients routinely, I always had to pre-medicate them with narcotic medications. And it may range anywhere from morphine to Dilaudid, depending on your facility. But with the use of a gauze dressing, I would say that less than 1% of my patients actually have to have some type of a pre-medicated, either oral or IM or IV medication administered. What we're gonna do here is we're going to use the gauze as an example because it fits so nicely under the undermined area. And one of the advantages that I love about this is the fact that when I put one piece of gauze in, I know I'm also taking one piece of gauze out. One of the things that I like about using the white cotton dressing is the ease of a set wound assessment. By seeing the yellowish and greenish character at the wound site, this allows me to more accurately document my wound character, but it also allows me to what I call read the wound so that I know what my microbial population is doing. At this point, I can intervene early at a local level with antimicrobials and not have to wait until I have regional symptoms and require IV or IM antibiotics. So let's say that we're going to put our gauze in here, and again, the ease and the confirmation of the gauze is impressive. That was one of the first attractive factors to me as a clinician. We're gonna skin prep at the very end, okay? Let that dry a little bit. On our stoma adhesive strips, that will help us seal a flat dressing over something round. On this particular example, we're gonna run the drain off to the side, okay? Rather than up the backbone, because we don't wanna increase any areas of pressure risk. So, you can conform your stoma paste there and make it as fancy as you want. You may have noticed in the past that skin prep usually comes at the very beginning of a dressing sequence but we have selected to use the skin prep towards the end of the dressing sequence. We feel that this helps us establish a better adherence of the transparency. So what we'll do is we'll start down here at the very bottom, create our seal here in the fold, and then just kind of let the rest of it fall where it may, okay? It's very easy to do. And again here, we want to pinch kind of along this line to help our seal, okay? Remove your top layer. So what I wanna do is just turn on the pump so that you can see the way the dressing contracts. Okay, and you see that type of raisined or compacted type of appearance. It makes sense. This is the Prospera recommended dressing protocol. So now you can understand what we mean when we promise to advance the art and science of NPWT. We promise you this that we will always put your patients first, that we will always design and engineer our products to optimize your clinical knowledge and experience, and that our products will always be grounded in the science of NPWT. Thank you for taking time to have a fresh, common sense look at negative pressure wound therapy. This is a very exciting time to be in the field of wound care. With continued improvements in technology, science, and research, we have the very best to offer to our patients. I invite you to contact us to learn more about Prospera Negative Pressure Wound Therapy.